Once you've um, casted on your 72 stitches, we're going to join into the round. The first thing that you're going to do is put your stitch marker onto your right hand needle. This marks the beginning and end of every round. In order to join, we have to make sure that we're not twisted. And you'll see here there's bumps on the bottom of your row. You want to make sure all your bumps are facing the same way. You don't want it to be twisted at all. So bumps all have to be facing the same way. And we're going to spread them out on our needles. Okay. So again, all my bumps are facing the right way. We're going to hold the tail and the working yarn together for the first stitch. So you're going to go in as if you're knitting. We're going to wrap around and bring it through to knit the first one. Now we're going to drop our tail and just work with the working yarn. We're going to knit one more. So now we have knit two. Now the pattern calls for us to purl two next. The way that we purl is we're going to bring the yarn between the needles to the front. <clears throat> from front to back, back to front. We're going to purl one and then two. Now we're going to go back to knitting. So we're going to bring the yarn between the needles from the front to the back and we're going to knit two. Now we're going to purl again, so we're going to bring the yarn from the back to the front between the needles, and you're going to purl two. Okay, we go back to knitting, so you move it back. This is all you're doing between the needles, and the back will be knitting. In the front will be purling. You're going to knit two, purl two for the whole entire round. You'll end when you get up to your marker and you'll end on purl two. That'll be the end of row one and we'll have to start row two.